So what I'm working on today is trying to fix bad design. And uh, this is a really important lesson if you're putting together a van on your own or having somebody do it for you. You gotta keep in mind maintenance and especially troubleshooting into the design of where you put everything. And the builder of this van probably thought he was gonna keep it forever. He's like, I know the whole system, but he ended up selling it. And the new owner um, was having a hell of a time trying to figure out how this whole system all works. And what we had, is this is the starter battery that's underneath the floor panel of this 2016 2500 and this fuse was in there so when troubleshooting if something's not working you're not getting power like he was having his it wasn't starting and he needed to troubleshoot that and his solar charge controller wasn't working he'll troubleshoot that it's a real pain in the butt if there's a fuse hidden underneath this metal floor panel that you have to take tools out and pull up the carpet, pull up the sound insulation, take tools out, pull off the metal plate, just to see if the fuse is blown. That's just not a good design. And this was done by a stereo company um, after their initial build. But the isolator for the battery isolators was also put in this box, which is dumb for a couple of reasons, because one, if you're having problems with the battery isolator, if one battery's charging and the other one's not, then, um, then you wanna be able to get a multimeter on it and test it. And so I moved the battery isolator here to under the hood. You can easily have easy access to test the multimeter, but also if your starter battery is dead and your house battery, these are the house batteries. If the house batteries are good and the starter battery is dead, it might not trip the solenoid to um, connect the two. And in that case, you can still jump start it by connecting these two. You can even I wouldn't recommend doing this. Um, this is only an emergency um, situation because it'll cause sparks and it's dangerous as fire, but you can take a wrench or something and touch those two connector points together and then start the car because that is a manual connection for the solenoid, which takes a power lead off the key to turn on and connect to the batteries. That makes sense. But the other thing that this guy who built this van did that wasn't just, just didn't think things through didn't think troubleshooting in mind is they put all of the um inverter and and fuses and everything behind the seat which i don't like because it's hard to get back here and, and read things and even see the lights the button for this inverter is way down there if uh if the wall mounted unit isn't turning on, you gotta reach down there and feel around for the button. So everything's kind of jammed back here. Not very easily accessible. It makes it hard to trace wires. Um, these circuit breakers are in a good spot where you can easily see and reset them. However, if you put one for the solar charge controller down here behind the e-brake. And I'm guessing he maybe just like ran out of cable, didn't have cable long enough, so he put it down there. I don't know. I can't come up with an explanation on why somebody would do that so the owner when he was having problems with the charging and with batteries trying to troubleshoot it it was a real pain in the butt because he has to pull covers he has to look around you can't even see if that one's really been tripped um, because the lever's on the other side and so um, the designer of this van probably thought he would keep it forever and when and he knows where everything is but if somebody else comes and works on it, then it's like, all right, it takes an hour or longer just to trace wires and figure out, okay, where is everything connected? And having a hidden fuse and a box down there, that's just not a good idea. So we fixed everything, or making it, I guess, more user-friendly by um, moving, uh, getting rid of that, that, that fuse and putting a, putting a circuit breaker instead in place of the fuse also um also moving the the solenoid for the um battery isolator moving up here so you can easily get some leads on it with a multimeter and if he has any troubles down the road he can have easy access to everything so if you're building a van keep in mind the design needs to be focused around troubleshooting um, just as much as functionality. Um, otherwise, they'll just cause you problems. And if you sell a van and somebody else that doesn't have the whole system memorized that didn't build it, 
or you have somebody else work on it. Um, even if yourself, you might forget that you put a fuse down there. And if you want to check it, you got to pull up floor panels. Uh, keep troubleshooting in mind when designing a van. I see this kind of stuff a lot. Uh, people want to like keep things hidden, out of the way, nice clean look, um, which is fine, but it comes at a cost if it's hard to access. So that's what we're working on today and we're sorting all that out and we'll get this van up and running by the end of the day. And if he has any problems down the road, he'll be able to troubleshoot it on his own much, much easier.